Hey everybody! Gavin here. And welcome to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We're back for Episode 4. Uh... If you guys are ever born just looking for some good fucking music, you should listen to the musical, uh, Next to Ch or Be More Chill. It's a good- it's a good-ass musical. I've actually, I was actually just listening to it, uh, some of the songs from again before, uh, right before fucking streaming this. The fucking hype me up! I was like Heather's if you fucking like that. Next to Normal is also pretty good. Anyways, it is time for episode four. Beneath the bedrock. Flex. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. That's pretty deep, Radar. Good on you. Speaking of deep, I'm Radar! Me and Constant Flex are gonna be flexing. What's his actual name? I wanna say Jake? I know that's wrong. Leonard. Do we have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. <sighs> Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings. Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. Shut up, Constant Flex. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It must be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. I think they just put that in there in case you forgot. I did not. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Romeo's kind of a brick. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things.
Shoot. It would be great All right, hands on keyboard day. now. Just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Rayard. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big. Hey, Chloe. Go, go. go. Fuck you! How am I not dead? I didn't have that many hearts at the end of last episode. Dismantling the tower. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Wait, when did Radar get a shield? Oh yeah, the armory. What? Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Now it's time for the obligatory intro. Tales of the Borderlands had the best fucking intros. I think we can all agree to that. Tales of the Borderlands is fucking just great in general. Only one close is Wolf Among Us. Which season two? Hype. I'm probably not gonna play the Wolf Among Us. I'll probably just watch it like I did the first one. I mean, I played the first one eventually. As I, it didn't run the best. So don't imagine 2 is going to run very much better. Also, that, that was enjoyable. Appears oh shit falling guys. Oh, this is the first episode where there's fucking an actual thumb art. That's not you know right I'm seen from the video. Since the fucking first sick. season. I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self sustaining city. It's... home? Not anymore, it's not. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Killed it. I just... Need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet. <laughs> Eat yourself. You, uh, you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere. Not good for anything. No useful skills. Can't make maps. No sense of humor. A terrible conversationalist. Hey, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on the poor llama, please? I do. I... Oh, I just... I want... I'm sorry. I think I let my mighty emotions get the better of me there. Yes, you did, Constant Flex. Sorry, Luna. Yeah. We'll get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I... Uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep. Years. Wait, what was his name? I think it said it, but I, I, I blanked. Only rest is at 
home won't rest until I get there, I said. Zara? Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the Advent for what he did. Uh, avenge your... Your, your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Yes, I do. Hey, don't look grouchy at me. Fine, fuck your bed. Did you really expect this place to be any good? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now, like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. What about if it's not broken? We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. I know you have it in you. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... Underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. All right. Okay, more combat I hate. I really don't like the combat. So I'm the bad at it. Keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Meh! 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 Kneel before Zahn! Grab. Close one. Red Keep, here we come! Uh, Jesse? Made eye contact with the Enderman. Sorry. Go. Behind the end, underneath. Ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba. I'm a ba. More, I'm it's angry. Okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't. Do that. Everybody, jump.
Jack. Jack, okay. that was it. No, need to stop saying that. You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? You're seriously making introductions right now? <laughs> they all have red eyes. I approve. We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. Well, you could so also probably tell by luck. You lost? We're going to. We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. That's up to you. I'm just being friendly. First one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> Right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Yeah. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. I'll do it. <laughs> splat. Here. And one more makes two. Fine. But pull me up first. Nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Porcha. No shit. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hi I also hate your voice. Sir, All of you. Be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> I don't like any of your voices. Kind of like you as people play. Watch out! <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just jump out at you! <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for this beauty! Oh, and uh, make sure to keep your pocket stocked for next time, alright? <laughs> oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here! Yeah, what interesting people. Oh, great, let's go. Jesse, Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um, ah, come on. Hopefully Fred's weapon is a sword or a fishing rod. I'm I can fight with both of those. Stupid and in the first season, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened. If okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? I guess. 
Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Jack, are you or are you not the, uh, raging storm of... Chun? Is it Chun? Chunji Chunji Forest. Right. We don't need a sword. You are a weapon. Yeah, those scavs would have been terrified if they knew, right? Hey, you might notice that the frames run just a bit better, I think, and that uh, there's now a fucking thing after transing Bandicam. I just checked the footage of the OBS and it's stuttering a lot. It's not worth this. <laughs> Horrified. Thanks, Jesse. And should be uh, the recording should look better now. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. All right, I was ready for a quick time. Strangers. Strangers, Binta. What do we do here, Jesse? Well, hey, we're not strangers. We're we're visitors coming to visit. You know, like visitors do. That makes no sense. No one visits us. Uh, makes sense, I guess. I've never seen you before, and and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Binta. She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. I love trivia. Oh, man, I love trivia. I feel like Jesse would. Yes, it's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, look at that. That's enjoyable. Poor radar. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special right. occasions. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, okay, let's I wasn't go. sure an outsider would understand. That's the rules. That's the rules. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone. Yeah, wins. I get it. Let's do this. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Guess I better. Luck. This place is weird. All right, Kent, I heard you always win. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. But I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. All right, talk to Hilda. Do what she knows. Maybe she'll actually fucking tell me. Fred like gardening? I think Fred likes gardening. 
And mushrooms. Definitely likes mushrooms. Let's see mushroom right, blocks. Um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Yes. Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. Alright. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. I assumed he was cool. a gardener. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. I had assumed he was a gardener. Saw the fucking mushroom blocks, saw the garden. Oh, can't move. Oh, no, there he is. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non threatening. Also, what? I didn't ask her to do anything. I don't think. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Oh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Just want to be ready. I get it. Anyway... The Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken, but I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? Oh, he is. We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. Our town is strong enough to hold him off for a while. I hope so. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. Yep. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a huff. Uh, weight resistance, you know? Hey. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, baby, feel that burn. Oh, feel it. Uh, I'm feeling it. Feel it. I bet you are. These. Hey, Jake. Jack. It's gonna be a bit so I fucking get your name. The creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dresh Najel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day, that day, he shed a tear. That's uh, one way to gather information, I guess. Hey, it works. Nice. Hey, Petra. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks... I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still... still with the admin or something. Don't let it get to you, Petra. It doesn't matter what he thinks. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Likes dogs. You are wow, you are really cute. Who's oh, a good dog? You're a good dog. And you are a serious fetch artist. <laughs> I 
dog's name is Blucko. Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Now should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. I imagine it's blue. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prompt like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. I bet you it's fucking blue. So that's Fred, huh? Uh -huh, there's the crafting table. All right, time to make a painting. I actually don't know what again. All right. Here you go. All done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just yeah. any blue. Lapis blue. Thank you. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Hello, Willie. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? I'm gonna feel so bad for this blocko. Hey dear little guy, I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog! What are you- Oh no! Waffles! Waffles! Come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, alright. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Not everything, or is there more? Looks like that's it. Let's go grab that bone. One second. There we go. <laughs> okay, I got everything there is. Let's do some Fred trivia. There you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent, and we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. 
I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Can't be my best friend. You got made the most faithful friend of Fred Wynn. Yo, oh, I will. Oh. Our first question. I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah, Jesse's the best at building. Not the time, Radar. Begin. Build his face. There we go. I think we're good. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. It's his face. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. Not really. I, I my... declare this round a draw! I think mine went into actually more detail than this that. This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Goddamn right. rhyme. Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Lapis, you Your fucking... time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool, what was it? 
a diamond hole. Obviously. Very good. Yep. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! Mm, thank you. I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. <laughs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. All right. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with. Birch. This was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! I'm great at trivia. Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. I got it. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. <laughs> You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Nice room. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. I'm not gonna jump on it. Until I run out. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Nothing in here now. There's a button. Except that button. Press. It's a... Oh, secret room. One second. There's All right. gotta be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeo Berg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeo Berg? The best. So, but look at that, I guess. Fred was the weakest, followed by Romeo, followed by Zarya. But Romeo probably fucking did something that got Zarya to weaken or something. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Hey, I, I'm a dumb smile.
My book stands out. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in... Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Yeah, I am. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well... Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. The problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. What's up? If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Yeah, okay. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Ro you welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future. Yeah, you don't need to tell me this. I agreed. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he. The needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. Thank You've you. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here. See what I can do to help. Of course, Constant Flex. No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's I understand, Constant Flex. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hoped you'd see it that way. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? I'm not going to no. try either. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. 
Good. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny when someone else does it, huh? <laughs> Come here. I wonder if there was the same just put like one block down and nothing else. They put a red block down. I call it Romeo. Because deep down in Fred's heart he could he still loved him. Even after the betrayal. That one just weeps. And I immediately win. I win everything. Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's keep, can you? Don't be a Whatever. dick, Radar. I don't even care. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? Let it go, Ray. Come on, we should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said let it go. Radar, I would listen to Petra and just let it go. She will punch you. Okay, okay, fine, jeez. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Uh, rough ride. No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah, what's up with you? Fun. What the? Oh no. Hi there, my name's Jesse. <clears throat> and you are? <clears throat> Come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. Are you fucking Lucas? All right, you want to know something only Jesse could know? I hate quartz. Really? What's wrong with quartz? I don't know, it just feels weird. It's from the nether. Oof, gives me the creeps. Nope. Sorry, I'm not convinced. Sword time. Say your goodbyes, imposter. Well, if... That's what you really think is best. It was nice to meet you, you strange masked man. Yes! Only the real Jesse would be so painfully earnest in such a dangerous situation. It can't be. Hey, Ivor. Ivor? That's even better. <clears throat> yes! It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a I practitioner bore. of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because this he didn't great. exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all, so I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless, 
But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... are you done? Please? Please be done? Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no! <laughs> so awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Tell I me, mean, him. you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie, and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego, after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's... Getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> Smoke bomb! That's great. Ah! You saw nothing. Backflip. That we happened. All just saw that, right? I I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Ninja Ivor is best Ivor. That was fucking great, though. You get kind to actually really like Ivor as a character. My jet, I enjoyed him in the first game. I'm enjoying him now. And when I say first game, I meant first season. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. It's not real. Halt! 
You there! Learn what to that many business people. have you? I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay. Okay? Now just move along. And don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. There's not really we an will army. We'll sick our army on you. There's not an army. We don't want to unleash the force of our army, and it's a mighty army. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. Oh, you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. All right. Yep, knew it. Knew it's fucking fake. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Did you not hear me? I said bring it on. I'm ready to fight this army of yours. Oh, oh, and they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. No, we'll wait. Uh, all right, we... We don't have an army. Exactly. Mm, yeah, I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah, duh. Fine by me. We'll just wait until you change your minds. Waiting. And waiting. And waiting. You know, if we were let into the challenge room, we'd probably be done with it already. We'd be away, out of your hair. I wouldn't still be talking. Okay, fine. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. Open the gate. On it. No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right. On it. Oh, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh huh. <gasps> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. Got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> this place is wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room. Especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. I can do that.
You face Gary! None have faced Gary and survived. You will not either. Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. None can face Gary. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Gary shall consume your souls. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Let's see what you found, Luna. That's a beaut! Solid sniffing, Luna. How come you didn't sniff that out? <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the golden. Now that is armor fit for a challenge room. It's so shiny, you can see yourself defeating the challenge room. Just just my armor. Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. Waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Good, I wanted to be the one with Romeo. Welcome! Challenges, Zara, Fred, and me, Romeo! How? The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> Idea, but they don't look friendly. Great. Another golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Turns lava into Mine in time. <laughs> yeah, the second I fucking saw the waterfall, I was like, oh yeah, of course. 
Uh, when I saw during the fight, not when I like first saw it. I mean during that fight. Of six hundred <laughs> complete. Uh, what? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Whoa. Whoa. Ski. Boop. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Boop. Well, the thing's not a total dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready! Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks quickly. Hey, Golem, over here. That's what I thought. Get me, you ugly. Place like an X. Sand on all four sides. Come on, craft, craft, craft! Over here, magma face! How's that TNT looking? 
So I'm gonna go on, let me fucking grab. There we go. We can't do this forever. Damn it. Then I'm trying. Almost done over there. Uh, how about now? There we go. How am I supposed to like this thing? That might work. Why do I even keep asking? That's the ad, man. That's the admin. Wow. This is the first place down here that looks alive. you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. it looking doesn't seem to be anybody around nobody inside should be safe safe ish let's just get that weapon and get out of here imagine it's the book used to have back at the treehouse till someone you broke it uh-huh remember I used to read all the time now I barely do things change yeah <sighs> Petra what's wrong and uh, nothing it just reminds me of uh, this this story about puppies really sad story you know me I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that puppies little chickens come on Petra you're lying we both know it no puppies just make me really sad okay <laughs> fine it, it's not the puppies you don't say doesn't this remind you of anything our friends, we used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself I'm still again. fucking here. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... I kind of thought you liked it that way. You've always had this I don't need anybody thing going on. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. I, I know this isn't important right now. 
Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Tanya, it's that book. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learned to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Zara, Fred, and Romeo. These must be their banners. Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. Yes, it fucking is. We have bigger things to worry about right now. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I'm okay, really. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. Observer block? What's it looking at? The beds? So blue goes here. Blue for Fred. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Zara. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable and not a very good one. I, oh, I hate potatoes. Please stop saying potato. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I should say hashtag potato451. There you go. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? The password. I guess that's the potato. It's a password. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or... Or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. 
about how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think, I think that's out there. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I, more than anyone else, you've been there. And I, I don't want to leave if it means. I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know the recording ended. Derp. Never be able to prove it. it. We'll see. Hopefully, it wasn't too long ago. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. I wonder if something to go wrong. Like, where is she? What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. We're still missing Jack, and this is how we get him back with us. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> a tree. <laughs> a memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Everyone, get 
Get out of its way! Those are monsters. Those are not damn people shit. from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs. Yep. Oh, just what we needed. To find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go. Mobs don't stand a chance. On the piece, yep. Jesse, help! Don't let it eat me! I'm really not tasty, I'm not! I know that Anderman wouldn't really eat radar, but. Still don't like the combat. Jesse, help! Don't let it eat me! I'm really not tasty, I'm not! I know that Enderman wouldn't really eat radar, but... There we go. No, I will not run anymore. So you just do your worst, you. Exactly 
sure where this will bring us, but hopefully it'll be close to home. Everyone, we are leaving! Oh boy, radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not gonna be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. Bad news. It's ah! after me. that you're capable. Yeah, look how well you did back in Romeo's challenge. You don't have to do this. It's, it's not about that. It's about doing what's right. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. <laughs> the Enderman is after me. I can buy you time. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Go for it, Radar. I'll see you topside. I Come trust in Radar. Get some of this! Oh, yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge... He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, Ken, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. Out of time. Oh no, uh, chapter 5 is going to be fucking good, I hope. Oh, pain everywhere. That's it. No more mystery portals, ever. I'm with the llama. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the Old Order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. <laughs> Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. That's Beacon Did Town. you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? Beacon Town. Yep, and that's what's gonna end, right? Next time on Minecraft Story, if they have it next time. Some of the tales have up to the forest dome. Most people did not. I won.
thought my adventures were over. I was content to let life pass me by. That is, until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye. <laughs> Can't hear the they song. said, Jack, do you think you can give me a hand? For mine is trapped in a glove from the sea. I thought I had left the seas behind, but the seas came a-calling for me. It's a lonely road for a hero. The road is a bittersweet friend. For the road is cold right. and it's hollow, but it's all you'll have left. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? Oh, Jim! All right, guys. Shit, it's gonna hit the fan. Can't wait to see what happens on episode five. This is a finale unless they do another fucking bonus at ep three episodes or whatever. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.